the man who didn't deserve it. The walk in. How are you talking? Who are your homies? Everybody wants to gather. Like, right I here. could kind of notice. Do <laughs> hi. Oh no, bad idea. Oh, oh shh. We got EMS. Okay. I'm okay. Right. Can we just do it in the okay. courtroom? You're too high up there. Yeah, let's go to, I guess we can just go to the courtroom. Oh, yeah, crap. you're too yeah. high up there. Does anybody have gauze? Yeah, you. Oh, oh yeah. Dumbass still not carry gauze! How many do you need? Of course he okay. doesn't. I've got him. <laughs> I do carry gauze, I just use fellow. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy more. You need to try again. You need to try. Alright, courtroom, really I guess then. Hard. I don't yeah. know. Awesome. I just want one place everybody can hear. You still got your hey, face Judge up Brad Smooth. I guess, yeah. Courtroom. Go to that one. Did somebody tell the uh, Conforties and everybody that's outside that we're going to courtroom? Got this. Yo, which way's the courtroom, bro? Way. Uh, this way. I ain't mean to call. They ain't catching me for shit. You feel me? Holy fuck. Is everyone running to the car room? It's like, you know, in fucking zombie apocalypse or something. Shit. Right, we go see the scouts are in the dark. We're here to... Well, up 47. Officer, Jasmine, 40 is. Stand in here. <clears throat> I heard nothing. Stand in here. I'm standing here. You stand on the other side. Gavel. You're not allowed back there. Oh. Okay, I got special permission, so... Uh, no, can you stand? You can go right Fuck over there. You, Blake, I see how it is, bro. I'm sorry. Watch your back. This is a DA conference. Only the DA can Good back, Blake. stand here. You're gonna get fucking real nice. I still love you. Everyone, other than 40 coming in. They'll be coming in momentarily. Okay. You always put my, my your head in my lap what? and not your feet. I think I think I catch another uh, another punishment for that one. Oh, that's true. I'll gladly punish you, sir. Punishment if you enjoy it. He's into it. Is this a local? Yeah, it's a local. The locals what? are coming to attend. Oh, fuck out of here, bitch! Yo, that's a soul. What the fuck? That's disturbing the peace right now. Disturbing the peace. I heard that. Wow. I want to put in a complaint. He's only not dead. He'll wake up after the session. He'll be fine. Is We're everybody in attendance? Person. Can everybody hear? We're good. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he uh -oh. talking? No, he's not talking. No, he's not. Are you good? This is addressing the matter. Of myself, Blake Drake versus PCSO and Jasmine Conforti. I'd like to state that I falsely accused Officer Conforti of conducting herself in an unprofessional manner and using excessive force and abused her power as a Blaine County Sheriff's deputy to illegally detain me and arrest me for disturbing the peace. At this time, I am removing the indication of any wrongdoing by Officer Conforti, Conforti and she conducted herself in a very professional manner and is a valued and honorable member of the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Myself uh, he's and Officer up. 40 look forward to a long career working together as a lieutenant and the sheriff's deputy and myself as the district attorney of San Andreas. Are there any questions? Is that it? Is that it? You couldn't have put that on Twitter? Do we have a question? Tell me. Put a hand. Yes, yes. And yeah, I think they did probably, to be honest. The back room? Um, Go ahead. And maybe uh, in his office. Junior. Maybe in his office. He does have a pretty big chair. Oh, yeah, sure, all the way here sure. to hear this bullshit. That's what I thought. I think I waited Deputy? longer outside. Better be some fucking snacks. Yeah. They better be. Any okay. other questions? They're in your left, red and black. On the left, the new guy. What made you come to this decision? Reflecting on my own actions. In the actions of Officer Conforti, I determined that she did not step out of line and performed her duties in the official capacity as needed as a sheriff's deputy. 
Thank you. Sir, I have a question for you. Yes. Real quick, as we're all in the dark right now, um, as of your coming to be, who who appointed you? Uh, as There's been no press release on it. Nobody's been told anything. That's coming in the next few days. You're not willing to release that now? Um, as to who appointed me? Uh, Kasara and Mr. Wilson. Okay. Johnny? Yeah, okay. I, I got a, a good question, you know. This, everyone's going to be, like, super shocked at this question, and I feel like everyone will agree. Could you not have just put this on Twitter? A press release and a statement in person is a much more meaningful set of, set, set, sentiment. Set, sentiment. Can't sentiment. Speak. sentiment. You know what I'm trying to say. Which impediment is what he's trying to say. <laughs> Real quick, uh, during the initial incident, what was you know, going on with you that you would make these statements? Myself and a good friend and former client were horse playing and physically horse playing outside of, of pillbox. And our risk and 40 acted professionally and thought we were assaulting each other. What's the name of this uh, friend? I don't know if I'm at liberty to disclose that or not. I have his uh, express written consent. What are doing to, you know, express this idea that you guys were fighting? You guys punching each other in the face? What do you, what, what do you call horse playing? Because for, horse playing for me is like, I push my friend and bullshit happens. But I'm just curious, what do you call horse playing? We were punching each other. We were tackling each other. Uh, I was hit with a car uh, along those lines. Well, that's I'm a little sure. bit more I'm horse not playing. Sure that's <laughs> horse playing, bro. <laughs> it's horse power playing. I mean, whatever you do in the bedroom, sir, is that's up just to trying you. to kill somebody. Yes, yeah, Johnny. <laughs> okay, this is another important question. You know, like I got all these ideas and questions and shit. Uh, where do I like? If there is a form to uh, sign it, you know, like, can I get my money back for gas for the car that I drove in today? <laughs> yeah, same here. No. Need like fifteen bucks. My mine's about fifteen dollars too. You know. For no more questions about the incident, we are adjourned. They can shut up. Question? What the fuck? I, I don't I want your question. money. Yo. Jasmine has a question. Oh, go ahead, Jasmine. Well, I did have a, I did have a question. I did have a question. You know. Oh, hold on. Um, I can hear you. No, 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 no. You stay where you are. I can, I can shout. I just wanted okay. to know um, that you missed out about the charges that I was possibly facing. The charges you were facing? Charges that Jackson. you were trying to bring to me. Um, of dis uh, disorderly conduct. Um, hold on. Oh, that's what you were charged with, sir. You uh, initially, when I was served papers and summoned to court for the past couple of days where you've caused me distress, you turned around and you said that I was going to be facing charges. What charges were there? It was a civil matter. Huh? Um, let me let me pull up the document here. Without the summons being in place to uh, attend court, you said I had charges against me. If I failed to attend court, then yeah, that'd be a charge. But what charges were you trying to bring to me, sir? Apologize, took me a minute to find it. Um, I was claiming being wrongfully detained, wrongfully arrested. Claim, sir, not charges.
I who this paperwork here with the dissolve of the restraining order that you place states that all charges had been dropped. Now I'm curious as to what charges you were trying to bring with a restraining order against myself in regards to harassment. Signed, may I add, by a judge as well. I guess it would be my civil complaint charges, not actual criminal charges. Sir, uh, right. on, a, on, on that topic, you're, I'm sort of familiar with the this, with this situation, right? I, uh, I was briefed before I came here um, that, you know, you, you were seeking charges for harassment, as you just stated, that she just stated it on the paperwork. It does state that there was harassment continuing, and, and you also mentioned a couple minutes ago that there was disorderly conduct. I'm curious to, as to uh, how any incidents that had occurred in that one singular incident that would um, impose you to believe that those charges would be filed. How would disorderly conduct or harassment fit in with that? Because to my knowledge, I, I, I'm sure you could educate me. I'm, I'm not sure how that would uh, correlate with the situation. Uh, Just hand up, my hand up for this. I could explain that to you privately if you want. I don't think we're here to discuss exactly the charges. Uh, we're here to have a press conference that Officer Conforti did no wrongdoing and that she has been cleared of any wrongdoing on alleged by my I had the uh, press conference. Person. Yes, of course. Sorry, I misunderstood the meaning then. I will speak to you privately after this if you have time. I, I have a quick question if you if you got a minute. I have my hand up uh, for a while. Can I get a... No, I, I, I didn't see you over to my left. Too. Go ahead. I didn't see you. Go ahead. Having been at the original trial and talked to you personally about the matters that you are charging... Uh, well, not really charging, but have addressed towards Miss Jasmine here. I would like to know how I can trust you as a district attorney when your ability to change opinions sways so quickly. Oh, shit. Oh. As district attorney. Yeah, sure. That's a good one. Check in. Uh, court case, sir. It's not. <laughs> a conference. It's a conference. It seems you to me uh, like you have to. been. You have been swayed in your opinion, whether or not that has been forcefully swayed or bribed or something, but it does not seem like an honest opinion to me. So um, on that, uh, at the same time, there was also uh, mention of editing documents after being served. Uh, that's a felony and that's actually a federal crime. So I'm curious about that. I, I don't know if you're aware of that, if you have any knowledge of uh, documents being edited after the fact of being served. What document being edited after it was served? I'm not sure. Uh, you, if you would please answer her question first. I was just on her topic. Uh, you know, with the with the uh, summonses being served. Gotcha. Apparently, there was editing of the documents after the fact. Um, and obviously, there'd have to be a new document issued for civil and criminal cases. That there'd, there'd, there'd have to be required to be a new document issued and served to the uh, now recipient. He, I can I, I can, can I pose a counter question to the officer? Let's not bombard him, but of course you can. In a how sentence, can or... you how can you edit a piece of paper given to someone? Uh, it's currently in their possession. How could he edit it when it's in their possession? It's pretty easy. It's called a whiteout or word document. Uh, Let's back wait. up here for a second. Let me answer Scarlett's question. That as district attorney, I have to pick and choose differently than if I was a defense attorney. I'm in a different position now. I have a different outlook on the law and on crime. And Ms. Conforti and I are going to need to have a working relationship to make this work. She is a lieutenant in the sheriff's office and I am the district attorney. What I'm hearing is that your position as district attorney means more to you than your morals. Things that you value. If that's the way you want to put it, that's one person's opinion. My opinion is my value in morals is to the law and to the position I'm currently holding and the side of the law I am on. Oh, understood then. Is you had a question? I've seen you raising your hand for a while. Yeah, why is everybody calling you sir? <laughs> like, who who did this? Who did that's, what? That's his, that's his new name, is Mr. Sir. It's Mr. Sir? I don't like it. I'm not doing it. You can still call uh, me Excuse me, quiz sir. Can you uh, 
please, if that's all it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. What's wrong with this question? No more questions? I, I have one. Yeah. Yep. So, if it's a civil case, right, the civil case that you brought up, why would it be not just against Lieutenant Conforti, but also the Blaine County Sheriff's Office if it's a civil suit? Because Ms. Conforti was acting in her official capacity as a Blaine County Sheriff's Office during the time of the incident. Okay, so if you were suing the Blaine County Sheriff's Office as well, how come I wasn't served papers being the sheriff of the Blaine County Sheriff's Office? I believe your undersheriff was served. Uh, the head participant of the agency has to be served. Uh, oh, no, 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 uh, you're right. Um, uh, uh, no, Riley was served and was supposed to forward them on as you guys were unavailable. I'm unavailable to be emailed the thing like everybody else was. I did not handle the distribution of the case information. Roger. Well, we, we don't have to worry about that now, but uh, I again, I'm sure you have more knowledge of the law than I do. But from my knowledge that if you are serving papers, civil or criminal, against an agency, a organization or a person, that leader of the organization, uh, primary official, I guess if you would say organization or whatever the fuck you want to call it, has to be served directly, uh, is required to by law. Yes, and that would be Riley Snow of the Board of Commission, as she is, was the highest ranking member of the police department. No, actually, it, it, she it, is it, not. It, it would actually be the uh, the actual organization itself, but it wouldn't be the board. Because then you'd be suing the Board of Commission and not the BCSO that you uh, that is put on there, you know? Commissions is its own organization overseeing LEOs in our district. It's not part of the BCSO. So you have to serve the well, sheriff they still itself. Have a badge number. Uh, I have a badge there. number too. So you, could you serve me with the papers for the sheriff's office? Yes. Trying to get technical, she she's not the highest board of commissioner. Another question. Ooh. Yes, That's just uh, the higher mm -hmm. commissioner was unavailable. We went to the highest commission available at the time, Scarlet. So, um, okay, so I understand that you want to be on good working terms with your coworkers, but does that mean that the things that you said that she allegedly did were lies? Ms. Conforti has no wrongdoing in her duties. And you lied before. Mm. If that's how you want to put it how I want to put it. I want an honest answer. It's about what I think. It's about what you did. That's what we came here for. Ew. Ew. Circumstances change in life. Nothing Circumstances for you may have changed. The allegations you put against her, are they still true? To my knowledge, they are not. Okay, well, I think, uh, it, ma'am, if you Mr. don't mind Mr. me, uh, I, assisting I, I you real quick. I have a question quick. for you. you. Yes, sir, yes, of course. Yes, Justice uh, Smith. Yeah, uh, just talk over me. Could you perhaps say that your position that they gave you, uh, the commissioner gave you, is that you're dropping the lawsuit, that you could be say that you were pressured to give it up? More like bribery to me, but pressure just sounds good, too. There may have been information passed that it is not appropriate for the district attorney to be engaging in civil or criminal lawsuits against members of the police departments. Rather somebody say, who does, acts as she does continue to work so that you can have a, a promotion. Are you saying that I wouldn't recommend you, you obviously speaking over a justice. To be, uh, oh yeah, you know what, you're correct. Maybe I should just watch my mouth when I'm in the United States of America speaking my fucking mind in a press conference. Uh, fucking so shit, what you're saying is, is that obviously the position you took is going to oversee, as she said, your personal morals and the law obligations you have of overseeing the law. So like basically if you know that she committed a wrongdoing, then now because of the position you took and because of a personal relationship you have or a business relationship you have with the organization you're dealing with, that you should no longer pursue these charges. 
And again, you you seem to be dodging the question. Um, the previous charges were they an act of emotion, or a lie, or did you get further evidence? Assuming the fact that she was innocent of the accusations that you gave to her, and if that's a fact, I'm sure everyone here is curious of what that is exactly. My view stance is not on trial right now. I fully understand. No, 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 no. Conference. He, he, he can walk away whenever conference. he wants to. No, no, no. I'm fully hang on. aware of the law. No, he you're can right. Walk we away are... Whenever the fuck he wants to. We already went to it. We already went to a bench trial, and uh, Chief Justice Silver's upheld the charges. Price the case didn't come against Chief Justice Silver's. The ones that were upheld by the judge are being dropped, sir. We're not here to discuss that. We're not here to discuss that. Let's not go into depth of what happened or anything like that. Just, just people are people are asking valid questions, and I'm curious to know answers it's, it's to these as well. Through. Judge that signed every little bit of paperwork, but go ahead. Can you restate just your question, please? I just see an entire department being a bunch of fucking shitheads right now. So cute, buddy. I'm really happy you're here. What say, sir? State your question. Of course. So, my primary question was along with the other, you know, five minute spiel I gave you. My, uh, sorry, people were talking. That's my question right. was is that remove his mask. obviously. We're all wondering here is if the accusations he made against uh, Jasmine Conforti were either a lie or you're now being pressured to take them off because you have a uh, non-legal obligation to, I guess, protect your friends. Is that the case? Or is it that you were given further guidance or something came up in the later case that, I guess, opened your fucking... Uh, sorry, I cussed a lot. Open your mind to realize that the accusations were false. What's going on? Because we're all curious. We, we want to know why you actually dropped the charges. My viewpoint changed. Roger, we're going to say... <clears throat> of the, my oath that I'm taking to my new job as district attorney, I am now so... representing the state of San Andreas and upholding the law as it is written. As a defense attorney... Your job is to bend and interpret the law in such a way that it benefits you and your clients. Um, a personal obligations have nothing to do with right. the office of district attorney. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have one other question here. Yes. So moving forward. What you're saying with dropping all these charges, not charges, civil suits, uncivil suits, whatever it is, moving forward, you 100% have law enforcement's back moving forward with everything moving forward. Sara said, can I, can I just add into this? But as Sara once said to me, you don't have to have law enforcement's back. You just have the back of the person who you know is right. If there's enough evidence there to prove the criminal is right or anybody in any case, you have their back over law enforcement if law enforcement were wrong. That brings us back to the same question McGuinness was just asking you. Basically, I'm law enforcement. If I was wrong, still as the DA, you could ca carry on with your uh, claim. Act as though you fucking want him to. I would just accept the fact that he fucking dropped it and walk your stupid ass out of here. So I'll just bend over Listen, and fucking you, take it. You right? need to watch what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Zip it. What are you gonna do? Are you threatening me? Threat? Just to watch what the fuck you're saying. Listen, you're about to be in the handcuffs. You just say it was a uh, freedom of speech right now. Yeah. So right, right. No, 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 no. But we no, no. Can't freedom, ask our freedom, of freedom of speech. Right? Freedom of speech is fine. Freedom of speech is not, not freedom of consequences. Are you gonna arrest me for? I'm you asking you. Be detained. Yeah. What legal grounds do you have to detain me right now? Okay. You spoke shit about a bunch of fucking dumb cunts? Yeah, fucking go for it. Oh, look at him. He's so big. He's growing up. He's balding. To be fair, we're in talking about some group of people causing this back in the street. Oh. No, we're at a conference. We're at a conference. <laughs> the, the conference wants Absolutely. to uh, ask questions shortly. 
That's why you open the floor to questions, and that's all it we're is. doing. Sir, do you, have a, do, you, do, you have, do you have a question for us, sir? Because I would love to hear your, you know, your side of this. Obviously, you have a lot to say. I'm curious. Take your stand. I'll move for you. You can, you can stand up here. I just wish you'd take your fucking win and walk the hell out of here. Class oh. is a win. Who's classing <laughs> anything as a win here? This, this is the <laughs> problem. The people win here are the people of Los Santos. You. When myself oh, this and is the fucking about. can work it, together. The court case was about the charges. This is about something else entirely. Uh -huh. You seem to be failing to fucking understand that. Yeah, I hope you know I'm not pissed at you, but this dude loves talking, so you can continue on, man. <laughs> okay there, McGinnis. I'm all set cute. if anybody else has any more questions. Definitely can't be classed as cute with that fucking eye patch. Oh, damn. That but really no, hurt my feelings. Just, just moving forward, you 100% have law enforcement's back moving forward across all the three departments. Blaine County Sheriff's Office, LSPD, San Andreas State Police moving forward. That is the oath I took. However, my oath is technically to the state. And if for some reason there is wrongdoing in the police department, which is evidence is presented, obviously, then I have the back of the state. But as the district but, attorney. But as a district attorney, I have the backs of every law enforcement officer in here, regardless of my personal feelings or personal you know, views on any one officer. You guys want to come up here and punch me in the face, and tomorrow you're I don't. I don't think charged. we want that, sir. And I think we of greatly appreciate it's, it's you. A okay. Well, I understand. I'm just. I'm letting you know that yeah, we, we do. No. We do appreciate you. So you don't have to think that we all fucking hate you. All right. No one's punching yeah. the face. Can you just end up in a ditch already, McGinnis? Uh. Jesus. Hopefully so, soon. Uh, McGinnis, aren't you technically wow. like my investigator? Oh, no, that's my brother. Oh, your brother. Right. Right. Shit, right. <laughs> like, right. Get right. right there. Ah, right. <laughs> it's all good, bro. <laughs> this will tell me things. Like, as you pointed out, the announcement hasn't even gone public yet. This announcement, is it all waiting on this, though? That's what a lot of people want to know. And that's the question that you've uh, not gave a clear answer about. So, so if what? this, basically, if this didn't happen, would there be an announcement? Why the delay on the announcement? The announcement of DA? Huh? I am not making that announcement. I believe it would be done by the uh, city leadership. Instructed to make that announcement, but I will check and, and ensure that the announcement gets made soon. I just want to raise my hands and tell you that I'm, I'm in fear for my life, you know, because, like, he just asked me if I was going to end up in a ditch, and, you know, I don't like ditches. Cold and wet and muddy. Here, you could, it rains you could a lot. You could catch a, oh, you could catch a cold. Dirty. Catch a cold? You never know. If Those they, are a bitch, yeah. you know? Continues to make stupid remarks of a remove from the call room. Is that... That's not your position, my friend. I think we're all set, though. So I think everybody can, you know, be on their way and, and continue with, uh, you know, their days and hope everyone stays safe out there. And if you have any issues, you know, please come to me. I, I, uh, I think so. We appreciate the press conference, sir. I appreciate you guys coming. Good day, Mr. Diesel. And I will just add that I uh, am formally, publicly apologize to go. Jasmine um, for any, any, you know, malice or stress this may have caused her. Yeah. Another one in my pocket. Yeah.